Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yassine, and uh, before I get started in this video, I just want to say please excuse all the sniffling. It's been really bad allergy season in Ohio this year, and I'm just trying to deal with that. But, um, so yeah, please don't mind that, and I'll try to do my best not to do it. But ever in the last couple of videos that I've been making, I've been getting a lot of questions about what's on my phone. Always people asking, what's that clock widget, and what's that uh, calendar widget, and all kinds of stuff like that. So I wanted to put together a video basically showing you guys every single thing that's on my phone and all the different setups that I have on my phone. And before I get started though, uh, I was thinking of making a series where I do launcher setups, Android launcher setups, whether it's Nova Launcher, Lean Launcher, and all types of other launchers. So if that's something you guys want to see, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And also go ahead and vote in the community tab. I went ahead and put a poll there to see whether you guys want to see those types of videos or no. So just yes, you want to see that or no, you don't. And I'll leave that link down below in the description. And I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that make launcher setups and feature different launchers but I think what I'm gonna do a little different is actually show you guys how I achieved that setup rather than just featuring a bunch of different setups so if you like that if you want to see videos like that then let me know in the comment section down below but with all that said let's just jump right into the phone and see exactly how I have my phone set up so on my phone I try to keep things very minimal so I only have two home screens the first one and the second one and then I also have on the left hand side the pan for the uh, the tab for the YouTube now feed where you just get all your information and things that you are interested about And so we'll just start with that initial first page and on this page. You'll see right off the top We have that uh, Pixel widget which is the at a glance widget and if you click on it It'll give you your calendar and it'll also show you the weather and that comes on the Google Pixel 2 XLs and the Pixel 2 but if you don't have that then you can definitely download it There is an app in the App Store called at a glance it's actually called another widget, but basically it does the at a glance and in this widget you can go ahead and set up the at a glance widget of the Google Pixel just like the ones that come stock. I actually did a video featuring this app and I'll link that video down below so that you guys can see it and how to set it up and all the things that you can change from the font size, the color size and what tapping on the weather does for you. But that's the widget that I have running on the home screen at the top right there. And then right under that is a clock widget and that's the local clock on the top right now and this is from Zooper widget and it's I believe the hook plugin or huck I don't really know how you say that but I made a full video on how to do Zooper widget setups so I'll also link that video in the description down below so that you guys can check it out but anything that I talk about basically in this video I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below in the description so you guys can go watch other videos that I made or just be able to get the links of the apps that I'm talking about so if you tap on it, it'll take you to the Zooper widget where you can go ahead and make changes to the layout, to the background and all that stuff. And the little X goes with it. It's just a little um, design that I thought was nice. And then right under that, that is California time, West Coast time. So I got a bunch of friends that live in the West Coast and I'm always calling them. And then if you go down to the bottom, you see a little widget that shows my data usage. And I have AT&T with unlimited data, but I also like to just keep an eye, an eye on my data. So at the top you see your uh, LTE data and then at the bottom you'll see your Wi-Fi and this is for the month cycle that I'm in and if you click on it then you'll get monthly statistics, uh, weekly statistics, daily statistics and you can keep an eye on things, stuff like that just interests me so I have that and that is an app called I believe um, data something LTE something but I'll go ahead and show it on the display and also like I said I'll link it down below in the description and that's really all I keep on the home screen and then at the bottom I have my main my most used apps which is the phone um, the text messaging whatsapp uh, gallery and um, the camera I know I could just double tap the side of the uh, pixel 2's phone and get into the camera but honestly I've never been able to get to use that or get to just get comfortable with that double tap I don't know but anyway let's move on so I slide over to the right so over here we have a calendar widget at the top that shows all my calendar and upcoming events and this calendar is called event flow uh, there's an app in here for it which is right here the event flow app and when you click on it you can go ahead and change 
the kind of calendar you want. The it has comes with different themes. Some of them are free. Some of them you pay for. And then you can go ahead and just set it up. To decide how many calendars to look. You hit that little plus, uh, that little check mark at the top, and you get your little calendar. And the cool thing about this widget right here is the fact that it shows everything right there on your home screen. But you can also click on that little plus sign if you ever want to add anything to your calendar without having to actually open up the calendar application. And it'll boom right away. It'll show you everything that you need to input, and it'll go ahead and save it. And then these are the apps that you that I use on the daily. So I have uh, Google Maps for dr driving directions. Even though I know how to get around, I still use it because it gives me traffic. So that's really crucial, especially here in Columbus. It's like the highway system is crazy. And then calendar, uh, Google Pay. So more and more stores are starting to use Google Pay now, uh, especially the local grocery store down the street from me. So I use Google Pay and that comes in clutch all the time. Then I use Slice. Slice is an app that lets you see what is uh, coming and what is or ordered and it taps into your Gmail or you can manually add a shipment with the tracking number and also what company is sending it and then it'll just give you updates on where it is located in the country at the top and also with um, when it's going to be delivered and as you can see right here the first thing is the one plus six i actually pre-ordered the one plus six so it's supposed to arrive today hopefully um, everything goes well and it comes in today and then i can go ahead and start making videos on that so definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see videos about the one plus six and my thoughts and all that and then right after that is Amazon. And honestly, I shop Amazon for everything. You should see my basket. Um, I buy so much stuff on Amazon. It's just easier when you can just order it and then it can get to your house within two days or even sometimes you can get it the next day. And they start even doing groceries. So now I have my wife hooked onto that and that's pretty awesome. And then right after that, the Google Play Store. And I recently noticed that they went ahead and changed things around. So when you click on a app, now there's this huge bar that says install and all this stuff. So they did move things around and change things around and I actually kind of like it, so that's cool. Then there's the YouTube app and then there's also the YouTube Creator Studio and anybody that's a YouTuber knows that the YouTube Creator Studio is clutch. Um, and then I have Instagram. So Instagram and Twitter, those are the two social media that I use. I don't really use Snapchat, I do have it, but I just post occasionally. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram and Twitter, definitely do so, it's at TechPlugHD. And I'm always posting like behind the scenes pictures and stuff on Instagram and then also tweeting stuff on Twitter whenever I see something interesting or whenever I'm uploading a new video. And the Twitter app that I use is Flamingo. So Flamingo no longer, is available for download and for use um, because of the way Twitter handles its accounts and how many different third-party apps that can have access to its tokens but I really like Flamingo it puts everything in chron chronological order man I can never say that word and it's just really easy it's just you know I like the UI it's got dark mode you can create different tabs on top so you can have like favorites and then pull up any put anybody you want in those favorites and then whenever they tweet you get a notification so <clears throat> this is an awesome way for me to keep in touch with the tech community and also communicate with you guys so that is everything that I have on my phone and that's just the way I like to keep it now keeping it minimal and keeping it um, really small to in terms of apps that I have on home screen also means that there's some apps that I'm missing. And if you have noticed, I do have a little bubble right here on the right side that I'm moving around right now. I can put it on the left and I can put it on the right. And basically what this is, is, is an application called Floating Bar. And when you click on it, it lets you pull up a bunch of extra apps that you wanna use, but you may not wanna put them on the home screen or you're just trying to keep a small number of home screens. Cause like I said, I only want the two home screens because I don't want my phone to get all cl cluttered. So I have this and at any point, any time whether I'm in the app or not I could just click on it it pulls it up and then you can swipe up and down and put more apps in there so you can have multiple rows and really it's unlimited amount of apps so in here I have the subscriber count my clock browser like I said there's snapchat and then the, I also have Google Drive Evernote no I'm sorry not Evernote I used to use Evernote but Google Keep for notes um, Robinhood for stocks and then this uh, app right here it's called safe and cloud 
this thing is awesome. So it stores all your app uh, usernames and all your passwords and you get in it with your fingerprint and once you do then you have a list of everything and it shows and then you can click on it and you can go ahead and copy it to the notification bar at the top and then when you go to an app and you want to get into that app you can just paste it in there and this honestly made it really simple and really easy when I'm transferring from phone to phone that I don't have to remember all these usernames and passwords and I know you can do that in Google but I just like the way that Safe in Cloud does um, does it better than any other thing that I found and then Chase which is the banking app that I use so that's called uh, floating bar I'll leave that link down below in the description but this is basically everything that I have on my phone and I got a bunch of apps here most of them that I don't use and I'm testing out because I'm always doing the best Android apps of the month so if you like those types of videos then definitely subscribe to the channel um, I think I talked long enough but that's what's on my Android phone if you guys have any questions about the setup or anything that I may have talked about and didn't describe that well then definitely leave me a comment down below in the comment section I'll be over there answering questions I hope you guys liked the video if you did please give it a thumbs up also let me know if you guys want to see launcher setups like Android customization videos uh, click on the link in the description down below to vote or just go to the community tab on my YouTube page but that's all for today I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay plugged.